fragrances that smell expensive. Azaro's Wanted by Night. A couple sprays of this and you're good. It's so highly versatile. You just take the cap off and spray it and what you have. Ooh, sexy fruits and cinnamon and leather and ISOE Super to make it last long. Three sprays of this last eight hours easily. You will project hardcore. You could wear this to a club. You can wear this on a date. If you wear it properly, you could wear it to the office. Azaro was wanted by night. Very good bang for your buck. It's almost niche quality. I can't believe it. Now, if anybody has any experience with La Tapa fragrances, please do comment down below. Like, what do you know? I heard of Ragba Oud and other ones, but we need you to tell us so all of us know all the titles and what do they smell like so we'll all get familiarized. This is my first time smelling a La Tafa fragrance. Now this is called Oud Nadja. If you look up on the internet on Fragrantica, they have Nadja, but doesn't have the word Oud and the bottle isn't wrapped in this black leather like stuff. So it's hard to find information on it. So I'm looking at the chemicals here. It has Lean Anol, Limonene, Kumarin. Basically, Linanol is citrus, like a Neroli, which is bitter orange. Limonene is a lemony orange. Again, more citruses, lots of fruit. And then the Kumarin's like a vanilla woody note, vanilla woody sweet note. And other notes in here include apple, maybe. It's a citrus aquatic vibe that dries down to a grassy floral. And you can taste, smell the cinnamon in it. Somehow it's very strange. You can definitely smell the clean lavender in the opening. And the longevity on this was a my skin five hours. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. Like some bee smell, but this is an honest, true review. And if you were to smell Rasasi on one side, and this on the other side, they're very close to each other. This is far better, but this is also, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. This is like anywhere from 25 to 35 is you're okay to buy purchase. The next one is called La Tapa Amir Al Oud. And on this side, I have this replica by the fireplace, it cost $150. This is La Tapa Amir Al Oud. Smells very, very close to it. Not as rich, a little bit more sweet, a little bit more creamy, a little bit more cinnamony. Definitely has some oud in it, but it's a, it's a, you can see the differentials in colors. You see how dark that is and light that is? That's the difference. Longevity is about the same as this, and it does go six, seven, eight hours even, and turns into this marshmallowy, vanilla, creamy fireplace fragrance, and that's called Amir Al Oud. The average price I found on this on Amazon was anywhere from 37 to 40 to 50 dollars. And if you want to buy both of these, I'll put the links to where I found them on eBay and Amazon. So you got one that's called Naja Oud. It's supposed to be brand new. This one's 2021 Amir Al Oud. By the fireplace, Maison Margiela, Invictus Aqua 2016, or Asasi Hawas. That's what they smell like. And I got you a two bottle special I found for both of these bottles for like 50 bucks. I would grab it if I were you. I'll put the links down below. Next fragrance you have is called Creed Aventus. Of course you want to smell like that. Here's a new one on the block called Emore London. It's about $40. It lasts five to six hours and smells very natural. It comes in a cool hard box. My favorite cheapest one cheaper than that or more expensive than that is called cedra boise i love to wear this about to go to the beach and this will go cut through the ocean in the hot summer too it's uh citruses and it smells kind of like this but a little bit smokier cedra boise has a little bit more wood that word cedra is some sort of citrus the best dupe to creed aventus for the money is club de nuit intense and then I found this brand new one that's not to be kidding around with. It's called Platinum Shade by Anne Farr. Comes in a cool little box like that. It's brand spanking new, top secret Aventus clone. And this is, oh yeah, this is one to watch. It's powerful, like not only intense. 
I feel like there's not only intense inside here, but it is powerful, it's smoky, it's pineapple-y, it's delicious, and I would recommend this by far, just because it's brand new, and it's cool. The next fragrance you got is called Incense Wood by Ajmal. Have you ever heard of that? This is like 80 bucks, and it's got woods, incense, vanilla, lasting power, 10 hours, projection out of this world this is beast mode niche style fragrance on a budget but if you want to smell like this ish similar cheaper half the price find yourself lalique encre noir a la extreme it's called lalique encre noir a la extreme it's about half that price like for 80 bucks versus 40 or less another one i found is called anfar the masterpiece this is huge projection great longevity smells like mancera black gold and for the bonus today i found this it's called anfar amber of the orient it smells like maison francis cartesian's oud silk mood and this thing lasted 24 hours even 40 hours if you don't shower and even i tested it 24 hours after I put one spray on my hand, then I went into a 102 degree weather place for 90 minutes. And after 60 minutes, it was projecting as if I just sprayed it, but it was actually dissipating. So I guess it has to go hard. And then it went away 24 hours and 60 minutes of it in the final 60 minutes were in 102 degree weather. I definitely recommend this. Spicy Rose Oud Fragrance Amber the Orient, so strong, so nice, so elegant, so rich smelling. You have to like that sort of fragrance. If you're a level one beginner, you won't like it. If you know about fragrances and you're an enthusiast, you will like it. If you like videos like this, watch up this one next.